Okay, right, we're at the top of another byway. I've actually just come up a bit of it because I come in from a different angle, but this is the very top of it where it goes onto the plane and you can no longer go any further. Um, well, not legally anyway. Um, and we're going to ride this one down. It's not too long. I think we're going to follow this one down to the road, uh, cross over the road, and then down um, to Upton Lovell. Uh, it's quite nice. I mean, again, lovely, lovely plain scenery. And uh, I've got over me heart attack thinking I was stuck halfway up a lane, lost, never to be found. And uh, I'm going to do this one down and then head back for me lunch. So very civilised. Right, here we go. Uh, should we have goggles on or goggles off? We'll have them on because there's flies out. I've got to get used to them. Not altogether sure I like them. Here we go. the old range warden oh one of many of them I suppose it's a nice rattly oh dear doesn't sound too healthy go this obviously is a bit a bit boring because I think it is tarmac most of the way down Now we're going to swap over and we're going to jump onto that one. Now I'm going to get myself lined up here because they come up here quite quick. As you can see. And as I've done myself. So I'm not... Uh, right, suss it out. Don't get caught in the shit ruts. So I think over there. Oh, they've been muck spread in. I can smell it. Oh, either that or it's a remnant of me thinking I was stuck. Oh, I love knobblies. If I'd have been on the old distances, I would have been in so much shit then. It's f fully bottomed out because obviously it's got crap suspension uh, ground clearance and uh, everything dug in. But it's, I suppose, really, it's my own fault. I should ride with other people, but you know, I, I only started doing this just after Christmas, so I don't know anybody in it at the moment. So, and I must get along to one of the TRF meetings and join up properly. But the trouble is, I, I would just hold those guys up, so I need to get some practice and try and persuade the 
the lovely lady to let me have a KTM 690 so I can uh, and it's not like I want um, to buy it from scratch I mean I'm talking about chopping in my absolutely immaculate 2008 R1 for it so I don't think I'd have an awful lot to left to pay but I just I don't know I just I find more enjoyment doing this than I do um, riding the R1 I'm, well I mean if there was no speed limits then I, I would uh, definitely be uh, happy on the R1 but I can't ride where I want to and being an ex club race lunatic uh, I find road riding are just a wee bit mild Plus I like the um, physical side of this as well you know I'm a fast approaching 50 and uh, you know got the usual 50 flipping middle age spread and this stuff gets the old blood pumping So this one's not exactly uh, exciting, but it's a byway. It's a byway. Alright. Oh, bit of DIY repairs there. Have a look at what the time is. Oh. I'll switch the camera off. Oh Christ, it's lunchtime. Home for lunch. Right, I'm sure you don't want to watch me driving home.